Hey guys, this is Julie. We've got some key levels I wanted to show you. Here is the weekly one that is coming into play for the uh, equity indexes 44.25.50 and I've got um, 44.26. So these calculations are on the open and closed, so I have two levels. So you have the 1A and the 1B. So your mean is in the middle, uh, which you can see has not been an issue for this contract. They tested the edge. Now I do expect it to come back because they've got to pick up that 43.20 um, level for this SPX, but you can see here that we broke above the monthly ones. So this is a bullish market like everyone has been telling you, right? So here's the monthly one high at 44.99. So if we do, you know, rally up which I can I could say could happen on Friday so they bring it down so that Friday morning they can open and close it and then rally it up something like that I could see that happening um, and again 4320 is on the SPX so you've got to be able to um, look at your SPX contract you can see uh, yesterday it went up to the weekly one and they tried to break it and this is where I got really excited because it they got slammed, right? That's not going to work. So they slammed it back down, uh, 43.20 down here. Got the silver line target. I could probably make that thicker so I can see it. And uh, so that'll be something that I'll be looking for. And then maybe we could get that resumption of the trend. Wouldn't that be nice? So here's the monthly on the SPX. And I've got to show you that you're right sitting on that monthly one. Right? So I think that this is toast. 438047. And um take the um pull back and then maybe break it. Uh forty three sixty twenty four is your um monthly one support. Uh, calculation open and close okay so the NQ is in the middle of its weekly range so my thought is that we could bifurcate right the NQ normally trades in lockstep with the ES ES starts taking off and Q is going to take off and you can see traded right up uh, to the daily threes broke it actually was staying inside the one time you can measure uh, the distance between the open and close, put it on top, and that will often serve as the point where they touch and flush. So the touch and flush had a little bit of um, a wick on it, that uh, wick that was filled, and uh, pushed it back down there. And so here we are in the Globex, coming back up to the Globex open right now. So, um, right in the middle and again in Q likewise sitting on that monthly one right 15 120 75 would be your high 15 109 75 109 120 mark your chart As these monthly levels will uh, no doubt catch, you know, some puts and calls that it, you may or may not be able to see uh, on our quick strike. So I always like to see what's on, you know, the pricing sheet for the implied vol just to check the levels and maybe draw the Black Shoals levels on my chart because that's where, you know, the option traders are going to come in. So it's nice to see where they're at. Um, right here you've got um, monthly one blocking it like I said so YM same thing um, it looks like the NQ and then it has some upside to get to so maybe the YM and NQ pair up and the uh, SPX and ES go down ready um, we'll take a look at that also 
Um, YM is in the middle of the monthly range, so plenty of room to move. For those um, down traders, you've got ample room uh, to wiggle around in. Uh, the Russell looks bullish. You've broken above solidly. The weekly one went right to the daily three, came back, tested the weekly one. Are you seeing this? And then is holding your Globex open. Targets up here, these little red bands, 1876, 1873. And then you've got your weekly two up here at 1885, 1883. And your daily three, way up there, 1894, 1891. Okay, thereabouts. You know there's some things on the other side of that, but close is close enough in horseshoes and trading. This is the monthly for the Russell, and you can see we're going right into the middle of the range, 1876, 20, what does it say? Locked. 20 something. So, um, take that off. Oops. Well, something's not right. Cancel those. So, the middle of the range. Okay. So, you got plenty of room. Plenty of room. So the VIX, you know, is this $64 million question. And you clearly see that we're trading now back below the um, open, the current open. So anything above the current open is going to be um, high vol, right? And now we're in low vol. So if that helps you, now yesterday went high vol long, right? Or low vol long low vol long. Um, vol uh, price can go long on high vol too, but most of the time when we climb above that one, the uh, algos are going to be shorting it. So here's what you're looking for on the monthly, and you can see that it's at support. And I was showing everybody that for a while. We've been sitting on some monthly support um, and came down to the lower one and bounced and now we're right here again. So um, it has room uh, to get up to these upper volatility levels quite easily from here. You can see it's kind of lifting off a little bit. And if you're wondering what that is, that's 1369. 1288 for a low, and if that breaks, you're way down there, 1172, 1164. So, um, it all depends. We've got some um, Federal Reserve speakers from multiple locations. 1584, 1664 to the upside, and then way up here in 2064 and 2040, 2170, 2251. Okay, so here's your outer bands. Hope you all have a great rest of your day, and... Um, come by to the website um, definitely let me show you what we've got going there are some specials check out the earn to trade page um, we've got uh, a, dis a special discount offer uh, that started early for earn to trade um, and the JATS PT is also at a special discounted offer through July 4th. So to celebrate the launch of the Ninja Web, which is going great. So um, definitely think about if you were looking for a funded trader account, you can use coupon code JATS. Um, take advantage of their offer. You can click the website, go to the Gauntlet Mini, go to the Trader Career Path, uh, scroll down and there you will get the information. Great price, half off, 50% all month. So you have plenty of time to get into a contract with a gauntlet. I mean, yeah, to um, a mini. Uh, reach the profit goal uh, and don't violate the rules, right? Follow the progression ladder, the daily loss limit, and today drawdown. Um, but once you get 
you know, some very obtainable targets, um, you're pretty much able to put some size onto the market. And once we learn to trade with, you know, you know, the strategy and let the strategy do the executions, uh, that you can, you know, test and rely on these levels, then you might have more of an opportune uh, opportunity to develop, you know, a little algo for the market. There you go. So check it out. Some good opportunities. Get the indicator. Get a gauntlet. And uh, let's see how you do. Thank you very much. Uh, talk to you later.